Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing. Uh, keep doing what you guys do. Your support means the world to me and to us, obviously. And we thank you very much. We are very humbled by your support. Almost reaching 21,000 subscribers. I'm really excited. Thank you. Please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just drop the name or the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. So today I'm going to be reacting to Elon Musk accepts God is the creator. Um, seems interesting. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. I welcome all the non-Muslims watching this video. We want you to come on the righteous path, right beliefs and correct thought process. So do you believe in God? Are you sure your beliefs regarding God and afterlife and religious affairs are correct? Well, these are the questions primarily to non-Muslims. Even us Muslims, are you manifesting your beliefs by practice? It's very, very important. Let me give you an analogy. How can you tell me that you love your mother? when you constantly disregard her. Do not listen to her. The verbal claim isn't sufficient. We need to walk the talk. That's on a side note. Here we come to the main part of the video. We all are aware of the fact the way atheism is growing. Many of these isms and schisms do more harm than good. I mean, take atheism for example. What does it even have to offer to the world? I mean, everything is meaningless. By the way, how can you tell us that you came from nothing? Look at how your own body functions. Can it happen on its own? You know what? When some big guy says this stuff, people get a bit at least. That's the whole point of making this video. So let's watch this clip first. Do you believe in like a god or like a higher power? Well, something created the universe. Or the universe is, you know, here. How did it come to be? Um, you could say... Whatever caused the universe to come to be is God or, you know, God's, depending on your view. Um, philosophy, I think, makes sense is to go out there and to, is to expand consciousness so that we're better under, better able to, to answer the questions of, like, what is the meaning of life? What is the nature of the universe? Like, how do molecules have consciousness? But somehow we went from a bunch of hydrogen gas to, and then an assemblage of complex molecules like ourselves that can feel and talk and and think. I mean, just if you leave hydrogen out long enough, it, it starts talking to itself, basically. That's what happened here. Wow, a lot of good words and wisdom are coming out from the richest man. I like that hydrogen bit. Doesn't make sense. Previously, Elon Musk also tweeted that he doesn't mind going to hellfire. Now it's good, he thinks like this. What he and all those people who are on the same page as his need to realize. If you suddenly woke up on a boat in the middle of the ocean, don't you want to know where are you going? Do you want to figure out the best way to reach a beautiful destination? Or you don't care, even if you are going to reach some dangerous area without any provisions? Practically, we all want to reach a safer place where we have all the provisions. I hope you got what I'm trying to say. Now, this life is a test. When we reach the next life, we have to be on the right path to reach a successful place. How to be successful? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, It's crystal clear, firstly your belief, then your actions and deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, 
we will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. Brothers and sisters, God calls on us to acknowledge Him through His signs and has made it our responsibility to ponder and reflect in order to recognize Him. Some people are receptive to these signs and see God's work all around them, while others dismiss everything as random and meaningless. God has placed in every person a natural inclination to believe, but this innate predisposition to believe can either be nurtured or suppressed. Importantly, God guides people who are sincere and willing to receive guidance. In other words, those who do not want to believe in God will not be guided. Brothers and sisters, if you are sincere in the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of God, make a prayer asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you to the straight path. Read, we recommend, request, invite you all to read the Quran, talk to people of knowledge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all to the straight path. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Um, I love this video and how this guy constantly gives come advice he doesn't say the most in his videos that's something we all, we all want people that speak like this i feel like they reach a larger audience than someone who would make you feel small or some type of way because he's spoken about atheists he didn't say anything but about them but just gives advice and the way he just tackles the entire uh, topic at hand um, I love how he asked Muslims if they practice, they manifest their beliefs by practice. While he asked um, the non-believers other questions as well. Um, practice makes perfect. Sometimes you have to work hard to get that one thing that you want. So you put in the work, then you get something. You practice, then something comes to manifest itself in your life. That's how I believe things happen. And um, it, I feel like sometimes we determine what happens in our life without putting in work. We don't get that thing that we want. So it's really up to us to look into that or continue being um, ignorant. He speaks about atheists and how they believe in nothing. Um, I don't want to say they believe in nothing. Because some actually say they do believe in something. Like a certain Dr. Zaki Naik video was reacting to i think that guy said he was an atheist he said he believes in something just not uh the god of christianity the god of maybe islam and all that you know and dr zaki naik asked him what it meant to um what religion was and it all came down to believing in something you know and that was very interesting to watch so um even though you may not believe these religious gods, there's still something you believe in. And if that something is asking you to do good in life, then I think follow it. Otherwise, don't just be ignorant and shut off from the world. Take this guy's advice. Read up on stuff. Talk to people with knowledge. Pray for the right um, path in life. And even those that actually don't believe in God, they do pray to some extent. So pray for whatever you want and see how things go. Concerning Elon's, is it Elon or Elon? Um, podcast thing going on. I feel like um, it's interesting to see powerful people speaking about such things. Although what God does he actually believe in? That's something I'm interested in. And his tweet... Hmm. I feel like he's quite controversial on Twitter. I actually don't follow him, but he's quite controversial. And whatever he tweets just gets people's attention. Concerning the tweet, I really don't have much to say. But listen to what he has to say about um about God. You don't have to accept his belief, beliefs. You don't have to accept mine or the guy narrating in this video. You don't have to. But... Find a way to find yourself to the right path at the end of the day. 
so let me know what you guys think if there's anything you want me to react to drop the name or the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video